Okay, hi everyone. This is Eric, and I wanted to make a answer to a question. I was browsing through the comments and found a comment from a user. Hello, where can I add code to open a, a specific Excel document? Um, I had previously given a video uh, about using a shell shell command shell exe command to open up a document and uh, it's probably not the best way to do it um, there are there's another way I'm going to show you in this video uh, again I'm with uh, VBA how to.com you can get the video and the code from that website VBA how to.com uh, so so anyway um, it's what the it's built in it's already in the office suite of products and so it's already built in so you're going to be good to go using that and I would recommend using that uh, a lot better so uh, here is my little Excel um, workbook and I'm going ahead and clicking on this little image object and selecting and what that does is open up a, a default file browser okay basically you're doing the same thing as clicking on file open and then uh, you select select your your document and bang it opens it so you're good to go with that uh, the mechanics behind it alternate F11 and I'm going to swing this page over to you so you can see it uh, nothing there it's all contained whenever you click that click that button yeah, it's all contained right around here of the rectangle I didn't give it any specific name but that's not the point but so anyway uh, we're started so to start at C select file for the for the name we're saying we're Excel seems to have its own built-in reference to the Excel to that file open dialog so you, you may you're probably not going to have to add reference to the MS Office object library in access I had to I had to add a reference but and again that's under tools references and uh, yeah so it's already here Microsoft all of the, and that may be because I'm I'm already added the reference on this computer, but so you you may have to do it yourselves if you're uh, since you're doing it for the first time. But uh, VBA is uh, this object library is well. I'm not going to get into that right now, but uh, with file with application dot file dialog file object open open dialog box uh, I'm setting the, the defaults here I'm saying I'm filtering just for Excel files I'm going ahead and selecting uh, what what choice do they make whenever they when it after they went through the the gyrations of making their open up that dialog box and what did they what did they select did they just cancel out of it or what? If they didn't, uh, I want to be able to capture that. I capture that in this SQL path variable. And then I'm going to go ahead and, since I already have the application open, I don't have to call shell to open up the application again. It's already open. So I just opened up the, I'd use the workbooks, the workbooks object, which is already here. And then uh, open the open method and open up that that path so uh, that's pretty simple pretty easy to go bang open uh, that that and bang I'm gone so uh, pretty easy uh, leave a comment if you if you like or a question in the comment box like, share, subscribe, all the above, and uh, hope you all have a, a great day. Again, come down to ZBAOutdo.com, and you can get the 
get this here application of the code and all that other good stuff. So uh, have a great one and talk to you soon. Bye.